Welcome to Benza Vineyards in Oregon's beautiful Willamette Valley. This continues our In the Vineyard series, and today we'd like to talk about the end of the season. What happens in fall? It's all about taking stock and prepping for next year. Hi, I'm Ron Benza, proprietor of Benza Vineyards, and this year was strange because we left so much of the crop hanging. This is a very unusual site. The leaves are ready to drop, and yet the fruit still hangs and it tastes just delicious. But because of the smoke, we really can't make any red wine this year. Let's start our review by looking at the grafts, the two acres of Pinot Gris that we grafted over to Chardonnay back in May. We cut the trunks of some 2400 vines and stuck a couple of grafts on either end and this is what they look like now. Let's Eight month old Chloe who gets in every video shot there is. But we're very pleased with how these graphs have flourished. It appears that we only lost about 1%, which is uh, quite a bit better than we thought we would do. And the vines look very healthy. We did graft two sticks per trunk, and here's the reason why. If you look at that right hand side, those buds didn't take. Uh, but that vine will be fine because of the other side that's being robust and is growing very well. And here's a graph that I honestly didn't think would make it, but it appears to have survived and is prospering. We won't have fruit this year. We didn't do any harvest, but next year should be just fine. And that's one of the advantages of grafting. You lose really just a season in this process. But overall, very, very pleased. Again, 1% loss is not bad. What we'll probably end up doing is the 1% of plants that we did lose, we will go ahead and we will probably pull out like this guy right here and replant. That's basically at this point a dead stump and there's not much we can do other than trunk renewal, which is gonna take a long time, or pull it and replant that little vine. This is the completely other side of the vineyard. And here we also have some stress plants. You'll notice they're green, followed by uh, some rather deficient looking plants. They went yellow, uh, as all the plants will, of course, in time. But they went, they went yellower faster because they're not nearly as healthy as some of the other vines. So one of the things that we're doing is, since we're an organic vineyard, is we are treating some of these sections with an organic fertilizer, which is really blood meal. And uh, we are putting quite a bit on in this area to try to restore these vines back to where they should be. There's the blood meal arriving. Believe it or not, that is five pallets each a ton and uh, distributed with a cone spreader. But I guess the, the real story of 2020 is the grapes that were left hanging in it's always a painful sight to see because the, the grapes now are just being picked apart by the birds and fine, what's the difference, right? Uh, grapes are for the birds anyway, as they say. But you could really see the extensive bird damage that goes on uh, as they pick apart the clusters and feast as they get ready for their own winter when there's a lot less food for them. And here we are back in block three, the site of our mixed sparkling block that we're bringing back to Chardonnay. Right now it's 65% Chardonnay and 35% Pinot. And speaking of which, we just got the equipment in for disgorging our first traditional method sparkling wine, our 2017 vintage. That's winemaker Andrew Kirkland, not resisting a little sneak peek at the equipment. To the right, that smaller cube is the neck freezer itself and we can't wait to unwrap all this well nothing symbolizes the end of the year than going to the burn pile and burning all the things that we really can't dispose of any other way all those pallets that we get with everything on them and it's a fitting tribute to the end of the year and hope for next year If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps grow our channel. And by all means, come and check us out at Benza.com. Until the next video.
Take care. Bye-bye.